hello guys in this video tutorial we are gonna learn what is the bubble sort algorithm and how we will implement the bubble sort algorithm in c++ we will start with basic theory of bubble sort algorithm and how it will work then we will code for this algorithm in c++ so let's start the basic definition of bubble sort algorithm is bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm that is repeatedly stepped through the list of elements compare adjacent items and swaps them if they are in the wrong order this pass the pass through the list is repeated until the list is sorted it is named bubble sort because smaller element bubble to the top of the list small similar to the way bubbles rise to the surface in a liquid so let's say if we have an array of elements like array we have array like 1 2 4 4 2 5 and let's say 6 we have this array when we apply a bubble sort algorithm on this array the elements are sorted like that 2 3 4 5 and 6 basically this is the mean meaning of this whole definition so after that the step by step process how a bubble sort will work algorithm is going to work basic idea comparison bubble start bubble sort starts by comparing the first two elements of the list if the first element is greater than the second they are swept if this element is greater than this then they these element will swap otherwise they remain in the in their position the algorithm then moves to the next pair of elements compare them and swap if necessary this process continue until the algorithm reaching uh, reaches the end of the list one pass after one pass uh, through the list the larger element is granted to be the last at the last position multi multiple passes the algorithm then repeat this process excluding the last element since it is already in the in its correct position in each sub, uh, subsequent pass the next largest element is placed in its correct position then it will terminate the code so i'm going to implement this algorithm in c++ so let's start include i stream we will i have explained this theory because because of your exams so theory may be important so here uh, for the coding purpose we have just uh, we need just concept of bubble sort and we have to implement it in coding so let's start using namespace std return zero this is the basic syntax then i'm going to make a function bubble sort over here then take an array of integer I will take 5, 5, 6, and 3, and 1, and 2, and 4. These are 6 elements. So, 6 elements in array. So, uh, for the purpose of sorting, I will use two loop, nested loop, two loops, the first loop and the second loop first for loop and the second for loop the first uh, loop will work on this el one element and the second loop will compare all these elements with first and then it will select a uh, six then it will compare six with three then one then two then four and vice versa so 
for int i equal to 0 i length of array is 6 then i plus plus in list in nested loop i'm going to put a nested loop we will start nested loop from j1 because we have to compare these values the first loop is running on this 5 and we will run the inner loop on 6 on the second value j less than 5, 6 and then j plus plus here I'm going to put condition if the first value of array is greater than the second value of array then swap these values I'm going to use a third variable temp to swap these two values so temp equal to array at j so after that we have to put array at i equal to array at j so array at j equal to 10 sorry array at we have stored array j, j over here then i have to put j over here then the uh, value at i on j then at i we have to put the value of j so this algorithm this is the basic code of algorithm using three variables two very vari one variable temp we have already uh, two variables like two variables one pointer is on first element and the second pointer is on second point uh, second element so here we will display the sorted array sorted list is what is sorted list for int i equal to 0 i i less than 6 i plus plus what is array at i and then yeah. so let's run this program it hasn't displayed anything why because we haven't called this function in main so bubble sort call this function and then see what happened so here is the sorted array one two it, it has put greatest element or at the end then then the large uh, then the smallest then small then small and at first index it will put the smallest element of the list if you have any question write in the comment below thank you so much for watching this video see you next time